everybody, what's prepping? Welcome to Sassy Gal Prepping. Today I want to share a video with you that I recorded last year, 2021. Like what year is it now? In the video, I am sharing a recipe of a broth to help detoxify your liver. And amazingly, it's called the liver rescue broth. <laughs> and it is from um, one of my medical books. And I'll show you the book. It's called Liver Rescue from the Medical Medium. Okay. And I've done a lot of research and studying on the liver. It's one of our biggest organs in our body. And it is literally a filter. You know, you have filters in your home, you have filters in your car. Well, this one is a filter for your body and it filters out everything from uh, just living just existing <laughs> it filters out the things from outside that you uh, inhale into your body that could be you know smog could be things that we ingest it could be some of these um, pesticides or things that get into our foods um, to uh, drugs we take from recreational drugs to prescription drugs all of that gets filtered through our liver when you're having a lot of maybe mystery symptoms of things like you know chronic eczema maybe psoriasis, maybe you've got chronic acne, mystery high blood pressure. Sometimes you just feel slow. I had taken stock of a lot of things that have been going on in my life with anxiety, depression, um, plus just feeling this chronic fatigue, this constant tiredness, feeling like, oh, I'm maybe I'm going through all these different things. I didn't have high blood pressure. I never had anything as far as a blood test come back and say, uh oh, you've got to watch this and watch this. However, I just know my own body enough to know that I was just feeling slow and sluggish. And you know what? In my research and in my studies, I'm finding out that nine out of 10 people in America deal with a sluggish liver. You know how you feel, you know, you just don't have any get up and go and you just want to, you know, it's like, oh, I don't want to, you know, you're dragging all the time. And then you pop, but you push through and you pile on more work and you push yourself and you do more things and then you pile on a bad diet and uh, a lot of emotional stress that gives you an overworked and tired liver and so when that happens it can't do the things that it needs to do properly it will though just like us women we will push through and we will put more stuff on our plates and we push through because we figure it out but we are overworked tired burdened and flat out exhausted and so we can't perform and function properly that is what's going on with our livers just about everybody in america has a fatty liver of some kind okay and by the time you figure out through a blood test or some other means that you have a bad liver by then it's too late okay most of us are probably running borderline i get my blood work back from the doctor and 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 there have been times where my glucose would be like borderline he goes oh but you're okay you know well i don't want to wait until i cross that line and be like oh you have a problem i'd rather not push the boundaries i'd rather come back you know and get back here to where it's a safer level and and i have room to you know if there's a problem i've got time to fix it but if i'm constantly running on the border by the time i have a problem it's going to be too late and if it's a problem with your liver and it's and it's that far along it's gonna be very hard for you to be able to fix that and come back from it. I gave you a little bit of a lecture there, I'm sorry. Uh, but I'm not sorry at the same time <laughs> because I want everyone to take care of their livers. I want everyone to be aware and take care of your body before something becomes you know, a problem. Because the way this world is going, you may not have the abilities or the means to be able to take care of that. And if things go really bad, they just may deem you, well, you're too expensive, we're just gonna let you go, okay? I'm being real here, okay? Because I would not put it past our government, you know, moving to a new world government or some kind of a national health system or something where they're gonna say, well, you know what, we're just, you know, you're pretty far along, we're gonna, you know, give a, give a liver to somebody younger or we're gonna give one to somebody that, you know, um, takes care of their body and doesn't have fatty liver disease or something. So, okay, just being real here and one way to be prepared is just start taking care of yourself. Be proactive in taking care of your body, take care of it and do something about it now so that it doesn't become an issue and you have to fight harder and do a whole bunch of other things um, to try to take care of your liver. We could all use some help to clean up our livers, to clean up our health, 
and this is one way to do it. When I say detox, I mean it's just something that will cleanse your liver and feed it on a cellular level so that you can uh, have a better functioning liver. When you have a better functioning liver, you're going to have better health, you're going to have more energy, more stamina, um, you're just going to feel um, alive again. And, and it's also going to help, if, especially if you have any type of diabetes, type 1, type 2, or any of these um, uh, high blood pressure, um, heart problems, and things like that. You need to have a good functioning liver. And by the way, there's only one of you, and you're worth it. Let me know, y'all, if you make this recipe. Um, let me know how it, how it works for you, how you liked it. It's a process, but most of the people that follow me, you can handle it. So take care, be aware, God bless. And until next time, prep it up, pack it up and stack it up, y'all. Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen. I am going to be taking some time to make a broth called liver rescue broth and it's from my liver rescue book from the medical medium there's a lot of stuff that goes in here and so this is going to be taking some time so got a lot of chopping to do okay i got my 12 quart stock pot and a measuring cup some cilantro turmeric garlic ginger onions both of those and the uh, butternut squash and six carrots and all of that celery <laughs> and all of that is going to go into this broth that I'm making so here's the recipe once I get everything in there then I'm going to let it simmer once it boils I'm gonna let it simmer for um, an hour up to four hours. So it's seven o'clock right now in the evening. <laughs> I'm crazy for starting this now, but if I get it going, then I can, you know, get it uh, simmering, then I can let it cool off and put it in the refrigerator for uh, tomorrow and I can have it tomorrow. Okay, I started with the easy stuff. There is one cup of loosely packed cilantro, six garlic cloves, as you can see down in there, and then um, a one inch of turmeric root peeled and minced. So that's kind of the mess around the side of the pot. <laughs> but that was the easy stuff. One bunch of celery washed and diced. Six carrots sliced and diced. One butternut squash. Lord have mercy, what do I do with this? <laughs> have to do is bring this to a boil and then I will let it simmer from one to four hours. All right, this is what I ended up with. After all of that, I ended up with the broth here and I strained the vegetables and got the broth off of that, put the vegetables back in the pot, and I added two cups of coconut milk, two teaspoons of yellow curry powder, one tablespoon of maple syrup, and one teaspoon of sea salt. I warmed everything back up, and then I put it in an immersion blender and made this thick yellow curry soup. So um, that tastes really good. I did sneak a spoonful before I put the lids on. Um, and then there's the broth that I can uh, sip on throughout the week. And here we go, liver, liver rescue broth to the rescue. <laughs>